We've seen that we can find the internal energy of a system by adding up the energy of each individual molecule. The energy of each individual molecule is made up of the amount of energy in each of the degrees of freedom. So let's examine how much energy is associated with a vibration. We can describe the vibrational motion of molecules using Hooke's law, where the bond between the atoms acts as a spring, which creates a restoring force between the two atoms. This motion occurs with a particular frequency, nu. When I have larger masses at the ends of my spring, I will have a lower vibrational frequency. When my spring is stronger, stronger bond or a tighter spring, I will have a higher vibrational frequency. Because the atoms at the ends of my spring are microscopic particles, I cannot describe this motion classically, and I have to use quantum mechanics. Therefore, this vibrational motion is quantized. The quantum number that we use for vibrational motion is V for vibrations. And the energy associated with a given vibration is given by the equations shown here. The quantum number V plus a half times Planck's constant times the vibrational frequency. The quantum number V can range from 0, 1, 2, so forth and so on, always in integer steps. Thus we have a discrete set of vibrational energy levels. The ground state, the lowest vibrational level, is V equals 0. That state will have an energy of 1 half h nu. We can excite our molecule to a higher vibrational level by inputting radiation. When I do this, the molecule vibrates with a higher amplitude, but not a higher frequency. The difference between energy levels is h times the frequency of the vibration.